Good evening. Um, quite for a while I was making these videos until recently, and I'm um, like, oh yeah, I should do that. Um, over the weekend I caught up to issue 14 of Wicked and the Divine by Kieran Gillen and Jamie McKelvey. It's a series that I follow, as I've mentioned before multiple times. I had only read up to issue 9 until this weekend, and I just kept buying it, intending to get around to reading it. And now that I've caught up with 14, and the issue 15 is out, and I want it so badly, but I have to make time to actually go and buy it. And I don't prefer digital comics at this point. I like the physical thing, and the back matter of buying it in individual issues is invaluable. But right now I'm reading... Injection by Warren Ellis, and as with many of his projects nowadays, I do not have a clue as to what's going on in either this or in Trees. I have confidence in his ability to tell a story. I follow his weekly newsletter, which comes out on Sundays, Orbital Operations, which I highly recommend you reading because it's very good for seeing how a writer's process works, and it costs some money which makes me want to buy his books. His mind works in a way that he doesn't feel obligated to tell me the story up front. It's a good thing for my mind to try to figure out what is going on and what kind of a story he's trying to tell. <laughs> it's interesting about strange things. I lent my copy of um, Supreme Blue Rose to one of my friends and I'm hoping that that person's enjoying it because it's a very good series. Though, in the end, I kind of got to where he was going to go, and I appreciated it. Just took a while to get there, so I have confidence in that. Trees and injection, as long as he keeps healthy, will pay off in the end, and I'll enjoy them. The art in both of them is quite beautiful. The colors are quite brilliant, and it's been a lovely night. That's about it.